All right, mystery video today. I don't really know what to expect. I got a box that came from iFixit that has a question mark in it. What, Nick, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know, but this came with it. It'll do. I mean, the idea of an electric screwdriver makes a lot of sense because of the fact that, you know, turning screwdrivers is boring and that's for poor people and we don't want to do that. Um, but no, I honestly have no idea what's in this box. It's fine. Well, let's just go ahead and start cutting this open. I have mystery packages that come from iFixit all the time. The thing is they never tell us that they're coming. I've also never made a video about unboxing mystery packages from iFixit. So I'm really hoping that there's a, there's a lot of crap in here. A key cap. <laughs> there you go, Nick. <laughs> Wait, I think you forgot something. So anyway, moving on. What is this? This is the glove. <laughs> Inspection gloves. So I guess this is gonna be for when you're like, like clean room environment kind of gloves. They're very soft. I guess they're designed to not scratch your screen and stuff. Okay, moving on. What is it? Oh, Nick, look. We got new calipers. How much do you think this costs? I don't know, but that probably came with it too. They're probably the best calipers you could ever own too. <laughs> So calipers and stuff obviously come in handy if you need to measure something, you need precise measurements. So with all the 3D printing and stuff that we do, this will come in handy. I only have cheap like Harbor Freight ones that the batteries continue to die on. So hopefully this will be better. Um, I personally like to use calipers just for like general purposes and stuff. So for instance, it's a lot easier for me to figure out how much money I have by measuring my wallet. So I'm at 40 millimeters right now. It's, I'm a little light, but that's okay. It's the start of the month bills and stuff are due. Anyway, if you guys aren't even familiar with like their um, regular tool bit kits, this should be in everyone's drawer. If you've ever worked on it, look, sure the bits are kind of small for like building a general computer, but if you've ever dealt with like M.2 screws or just anything fine like building or working on your own laptop, they really do come in handy. They've got old SIM card removal attachments. They've got the pentalobe stuff that you need with Apple, all your mini torques. They've got magnet bits, the whole deal, so. There's that. Hey, isn't this the thing that I just used? I didn't even know that we had. <laughs> yeah. So this is pretty cool. It's a magnetic tray. That's also a dry erase board that gives you uh, an air, a way to sort of keep your parts and screws and stuff organized. And because the entire blue tray is magnetic, wherever you stick a screw, it will stick to you. So you can even like, let's say you're taking the screws off your back plate of your graphics card or something, you're trying to do a water block or re thermal paste it or something. You could literally put the back plate down and then you could like outline it even if you wanted and then put the screws next to everywhere it goes so you always know where that goes. So that's, I didn't even know that, that we had one for the longest time. Wait, please tell me that we have an electric screwdriver. No, still. Anyway, moving on, disappointment ensuing here. I think we can take that back. Stop giving me money. So this is the Marlin screwdriver kit. This is just straight up screwdrivers. They're not like removable tips. However, they are magnetic. They come in a few different sizes of both Phillips and flathead. Actually, there's only one flathead, a 2.5 millimeter. Everything else is a Phillips from a zero, zero, triple zero, double zero, single zero, and then a one, which could come in handy when building computers and such. You got, well, that, it's not super big, but it's nice to have if you're working on small things. Anyway, it's lightweight. The tip rotates, uh, well, not the tip, but the rear rotates that way. If you're holding it in your palm, you can still turn it. Um, rubberized so you don't drop it. Pretty lightweight. This seems like a pretty important thing to have in your toolkit. Did I mention they're really pretty? Did I mention the lid is magnetic so you don't drop and lose it? I fix it! No, in all seriousness though, we've never done like an iFixit video where we kind of talk about the reasons why. I I've gotten so many emails from people saying, I saw iFixit at Micro Center or whatever, I saw your ad and they really seem like something I would try. They make great gifts. The amount of people that are happy with it because they've never realized like, wow, I'd, the bits and stuff that are in here, don't eat this, it's bad. The amount of bits and stuff that, you, that are in here and are just beneficial to have for just having access to it. You never know you need some of these until you don't have it. This is now like our fifth or sixth Mako kit. This is like our fifth or sixth Mako kit. We never seem to have enough of them. 
What is this? Fast charger, USB-C to AC adapter. I didn't even know iFixit made chargers. They probably are the best charger in the world. It's see-through. You can see all the charging bits inside. You can see the charging. <sighs> Holy cow, look at the length of this thing. That's what she said. So it's USB-C on both ends. Uh, obviously it'll charge uh, anything that receives a USB-C adapter. So it's a 65 watt AC adapter, six, uh, six foot USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, and the cable can handle up to 240 watts, but the charger is 65 watt. Transparent case shows powerful charging at work. Does it actually show charging happening? That'd be cool, like a little wheel in there that's turning. <laughs> This, this will, do you know why this will come in handy? I have kids that are constantly stealing the power adapters for their iPhones and iTablets and i other crap. I, I fixed it! Oh, is this like a precision uh, tweezers? Like, we've used their tweezers and stuff in the past. Dude, these are like... <laughs> I wonder if I can like... Karate Kid went out of the sky. <laughs> Almost. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had these when I was doing my models. I fix it should really start making model kit, like tool kits and stuff. Okay, it's becoming difficult to find the stuff they sent. <laughs> All right, so these are just cable organization zip ties. We could probably definitely use these. Uh, color coded too, that way you can easily identify like what's what by using different colors. What is this? The repair notes. Oh, so it's just a little notebook for when you're making repairs and stuff. And I talked about using different spudgers and whatnot. This is a precision cleaning kit. So it's got your soft brushes, uh, so you can clean in ports and adapters. Um, we've got our spudger tools, our hook tools, these kind of a crazy Q-tip looking things. Basically anything that you would need to clean uh, an electronic component and not cause damage to it. It's also neat because of the fact that this is, looks identical to some of the model building stuff that I've used. So I could probably even use this for double duty for model building stuff. What is this right here? Oh, prying an assortment kit. So recently when we were doing like the uh, Apple MacBook or I, I Mac, no, uh, MacBook Air repair, uh, these came in handy because I really had to like pry up some of those ribbon connectors and cable tie downs and whatnot. So this really came in handy. Downside is her charging isn't working right now. So I'm not sure if I either got the USB-C plug to not plug back in properly. I need to check that. Or she might have killed the USB-C adapter too. So I've got to do some more troubleshooting on that. But anyway, that's kind of it. Oh, and then they gave me a patch for right to repair, but it's I'm, I'm a 90s kid, but I do not have a patch jacket. I guess that's it. If you guys are looking for the best possible tool experience that you can ever have, iFixit is an obvious choice. If you don't have an iFixit kit, you're literally a loser. Like you're a loser if you don't have an iFixit kit. Get an iFixit kit. They're the best in the world and maybe even the universe.